Hey, how's it going guys? This is Zerai here. So I wanted to share my list of games that I'm most anticipating for the second half of the 2024. Now I actually make these sorts of videos annually, but this time since we did not know of many and many games that were supposed to be coming out at the end of 2024, on top of that some of the brand new game announcements and also some of the games that we genuinely did not know of the release date. Now, of course, few of the extra games here, they are unfortunately have not yet even been confirmed that will be coming out in 2024. There's a lot of speculation that they could be, but nevertheless, there still is a possibility that they may get delayed to 2025. I'm also will be mentioning a lot of honorable mentions, few of the games I have no interest, but I just wanted to mention as well, you know what, let's get into the games that I'm most anticipating. So my number 10 game would be The First Descendant. It's actually coming out very, very soon, July the 2nd. Now, I actually played the beta version of this game. This is more of a looter shooter online game that you can play by yourself or with your friends. Advisable to be honest, which you play with the friends. Still, this is a free to play game. So yes, there is a possibility that this may go in a very bad direction in terms of the microtransactions. But what I have played, actually did interest to me, but I'm still kind of very, very skeptical. Even though what it has to show and what has to, in terms of uniqueness of what it tries to be, it is there. Now, I'm worried that again, that might be way too grindy or perhaps even way too repetitive. But so far, what I have already experienced and played, and mind you, I played about maybe 15 hours of it, of this beta, I actually had fun time with it. Now, I'm not holding my breath, but I have my eyes open for this game. Now, I'm still looking for something like a Destiny 2 replacement. Back in the day, I was like mainly a Destiny 2 guy, seriously, even especially Destiny 1. But then, well, I just grew, up, grew out of it and I don't have any more of those sorts of games that I want to constantly come back and have a little bit of a hobby and just keep on grinding my time with this game. Like I'm looking for that hook. I still have not found it. Hopeful maybe First Descendant will be it, but I'm not too sure yet. So number nine is actually a very odd game. It is Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2. It's coming at September the 9th, but I am very curious about this game. Honestly, I am a complete noob in 40k series games. I have no knowledge about them. Nada. Nothing. But I have heard and I have seen fantastic things regarding the Space Marine 2 game. Now, even though the gameplay lo looks very, very appealing to me, there is still is some concerns that I've heard that it could get repetitive. It's very early to judge it, especially if, like in my case, I don't even know anything much about this game. I'm looking forward to it. I love the gameplay and everything that it had to show for, especially with its breakdown gameplay. Man, it really got me appealed to this game and I have my eyes glued on it. This may be my first game ever that actually will introduce me into the world of 40k. Curious. Let's get into my number 8 it is the Silent Hill 2 remake. It's coming October the 8th. Now, I am curious regarding of this remake. When I've seen the trailer, I was very skeptical. I actually kind of despised what I've seen. It did not look good for a remake. But when I saw the raw gameplay, that actually changed my mind around a little bit. In fact, I think I might be looking forward to it now. Still, I'm very skeptical. Nevertheless, I have an interest regarding this game. I have played an original Silent Hill 2 game to an extent. I didn't play fully. I was way too young as well. And yet I just like I couldn't really get into it. Right. It makes sense. Again, I was too young. Now I am curious, but there's not a problem. Konami. And you can't really trust Konami, especially with their past involvements. And there's another little game that I will mention in a little bit. Well, a little game called Metal Gear Solid, but I'll get into that in a bit. Nevertheless, I want to hope that Silent Hill 2 will be something special, but I don't know yet. So number 7 is Dragon Age. The Veil Guard is coming in fall 2024. There's no release date yet for it, but of course we will get it soon. Now, I've never played any of the Dragon Age games, so I have no knowledge about this. What I did like about it is the gameplay, especially being that it's more oriented for an action gameplay. So this could actually be something like a game or a title that will be for me. I'm still worried about it though. Bioware. This is not the same old Bioware that people loved from Mass Effect 1, older Dragon Age games, Mass Effect 2, Mass Effect 3 included, because Bioware now, they're a mess, they're a disaster. With the Mass Effect Andromeda, Anthem, 
constantly failure after failure, disasters. I'm not holding my breath that this game will be something special. In fact, there's a very big chance, big possibility that this just may end up being once again yet another flop. I want to hope for the best for this game. I'm not going to be picking it up on day one. I will be watching very, very carefully. I will be looking up more credible and reliable reviewers and hear what they have to say about this game when it launches. I'm just not sure how I feel about this game, at least not yet, but I'm interested. I'm intrigued. That's why I wanted to mention it in here. That's why it's even so high in my list that it actually has me more interested than even Silent Hill 2 Remake. So I want to mention this game here as my number six. Call of Duty, yeah, Black Ops 6, coming October the 25th. Well, it's Call of Duty, what can I say? Every year, same old, same old, nothing new ever, pretty much. What makes me more curious about this game, that is being developed by Treyarch, and the second part of it, that's been actually developed for four years, and I believe that is the, well, an unheard of time frame for a Call of Duty title, and that it's been made for four long development years, that's actually good news. Now, Treyarch, personally for me, are far, they're the best studio, in my opinion. I pref always prefer Treyarch Call of Duty games, especially being zombies. And even though a campaign may not be special, I really like the Cold Wars campaign, honestly. And I love Treyarch zombies. They're far more superior uh, than anything of a third mode that Infinity Ward has, or even Sledgehammer. I'm hopeful, I hope it actually will turn out to be good. Um, again, this is a similar thing happened to me like it was with Destiny. I was really an, pretty much an addict with Call of Duty titles, especially Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2. I loved playing every day Call of Duty back then. I'm looking for that hook once again. I'm hopeful maybe that Black Ops 6 will be it again for me, but again, I'm not really holding my breath. I'm interested. I'm intrigued. The next game is higher than my Call of Duty and I'm talking about Star Wars Outlaws. It's coming up August of 30th. Honestly, I'm still not confident with this title. I've seen plenty of gameplays. I know that there's main appeal about this game, Star Wars included, and also that it's being developed for how it kind of orientates not being like a Skywalker, or for example, like Luke, or maybe just going more memorable characters within the Star Wars universe. Instead, you are basically an outlaw within this universe of Star Wars. Actually kind of has an appeal for me. Something more a vulnerable character that you actually have a chance of dying. You're not a hero. You're not trying to save the world. You're actually doing for your own agenda, for the caps, for the coins, basically. And I like that. What I also kind of doesn't exactly entice me is its gameplay, especially the shooting part, and also, well, honestly, a bit of everything. I'm not sure how I feel about this game. I'm curious, I'm gonna be watching very, very carefully regarding more of this game, but something about this game that just doesn't stream exactly very good. Nevertheless, I could be wrong. So, a game higher than that is the little game I already mentioned. Metal Gear Solid Delta Snake Eater, the remake of the Metal Gear Solid 3, basically. This actually would have been my number one, you know, without a doubt. But I'm not confident with its title because of the Konami. And also, he actually has a chance that it could get delayed to 2025. So that's why I could not put this any higher on my list. And even though I know for a fact I would love this game, again, Konami, they can mess up with its development. We don't know when it's coming out. And even though the trailer and gameplay parts of it they really, really looked good, something about it that could be something sneaky going on, and we're not aware of, at least not yet. I'm very, very interested. Black Myth Wukong, August 20th. We've seen so much footage of this, so much gameplay clips for so many years on top of that since it was announced. I think it was like 2019, right? The first gameplay it got introduced. People were like seriously stoked for this game. It's one of the most hyped and most anticipated games. I'm sure it will be in many other people's number one. For me, for a long time, actually was number one. But after when I started watching more and more of this game and constantly getting more gameplay, more reveals, more clips every year, I got bored of it. Like to the point that I'm like, okay, dude, move on, stop. Release the damn game. And finally now it's coming in August. And so I hope it actually will live up to the expectations of many. Yet again, there's also a possibility that may, it might have been all a lie. I'm not really trying to judge this game by its cover anyway. But again, we've seen so many times, we've been burned out by so many of these games that just 
lied straight up front with their gameplays, unfortunately. Black Myth Wukong has something special going for it. I hope it actually will be very, very special. I am very much considering getting it on day one. Again, but I still want to see a very reliable, credible reviewers. Astrobot, September 6th, 100%. Yes, day one, easily. I love the Astrobot. I think it was Playroom on PlayStation 5 on day one. It's more of the same, and that's definitely a welcome addition. I'm 100% looking forward to it. I only heard fantastic things about it from the previews from the Summer Game Fest that people already had an opportunity of playing a little bit. So I'm super, super glad that people actually are saying fantastic things regarding this game. And I know I'm going to love it because I really, really like the playground. Well, playroom, I should say, Astro game from what that was already released for the PlayStation 5. So my number one, even though it doesn't make sense and actually usually would never be in my number one, I'm talking about AC. Yeah, Assassin's Creed Shadows. So it's coming out on November the 15th. <laughs> Surprising, right? Because Assassin's Creed being number one for me, it's actually quite unprecedented. But honestly, for me, this is the only game here that I'm most confident of seeing the game that actually is for me, that I know for a fact I will play and I perhaps even will enjoy. Being that it's based in feudal Japan, that's just wow. Thank you. Finally. Why didn't you not do this before? Very odd. There are always questionable decisions, conspiracies, there's also controversies regarding Yasuke, and there's always these sorts of things. I think this could be something special. Could. Again, we have to understand, this is Ubisoft. They've never done anything remarkable. Now, what they've done is always more of the same. They did try to reinvent some, you know, things within their games, quite a few times, in fact. And I hope that this is one of them. I hope it to the point that actually the new things that it does, it will be something very intriguing and quite new, right? And interesting for this game, for this title. I'm looking forward to it. I, I will be getting this on day one. And of course, I want to experience it. I want to play it. Okay, so these were all my top 10 of the more anticipated games that will be coming in. Well, presumably will be coming in the second half of the 2024. Now, I want to mention extra few games as well that do interest me, but they never, unfortunately, could reach my top 10. So, Lollipop Chainsaw Repop coming 25th, I believe, September. I played actually the original, a little bit of it, not too much though. I don't honestly remember too much. I hope it's going to be something special for people that love the original. But again, I'm kind of still curious to see why was the decision to make this a remaster, right? Initially, there was some talks that it was supposed to get a remake, not a remaster, but then they changed their mind around. Well, I don't know. Hopefully it will be something good. Concord, August 23rd. I have no interest in this at all. Like after with its previews and people talking about it, there's more and more people finding faults within this game and people are not trusting it more and more. I wanted to mention here since a little bit is an honorable mention, it's also a PlayStation game and I'm very disappointed that it's even being developed. I think they should just cancel it outright because this game will be forgotten. On, it's basically dead on arrival. I'm not trying to be mean about it, but still I'm not confident about this title. Delta Force, Hawk Ops, okay, I know nothing about this game. I know it had some kind of release like decades ago, but after hearing more about it, I'm curious. I've really loved especially its gameplay. And on top of that, it actually the main inspiration is from a movie called Black Hawk Down, and it's one of my favorite movies. I'm seriously looking forward to see what it got in store as well. I have to know more if that makes sense. Until Dawn, well, it's getting a remake that doesn't actually look like a remake. In fact, it's perhaps maybe closer to a remaster. I don't see much of a point even getting a remaster for it. I mean, I get it. They're trying to do a movie or a series out of it, as if we haven't had one of those. I wanted to mention in this list, but I'm not holding my breath. Where Winds Meet, a few years ago, I've seen its gameplay, right? It really impressed me. Unfortunately, there's no info about it that if it would release in 2024. I hope it's actually going to be something unique for a game genre, for this kind of Chinese sort of like Souls-like experience, open world, could be something special. LEGO Horizon Adventures should be coming in winter of 2024. Well, it's a LEGO game, but with Horizon inspiration. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Now, I hope it will do well, but after hearing lots of reliable previews from this game that they have got an opportunity of playing, I'm now hearing much of good things. At least it just doesn't seem anything special. 
and especially that people have played it and gotten the chance playing like Astrobot and this, they have, everyone's just saying, oh my god, don't bother with it, just get Astrobot, it's far better. So I'm very like questionable, like to the point, why even make a Lego game out of the Horizon series, like out of Horizon games? It's such an odd move. A little game as well that was recently announced, I'm shocked the way it was even recently announced. I'm talking about Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster. I wanted to mention it in here since I actually liked Dead Rising, I think it was 3. I think it was actually Xbox exclusive at the time. I believe it still is though. I played that, I very much enjoyed it, even though I know it's not fair, it's, I think, the first one and the second one was the people's favorite. This is getting a remaster. I have my eyes peeled on it. So here's the some of the games I wanted to mention, but just no interest to me. Avout and also Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. Uh, they should be coming out in 2024. It's just, I feel like these two games are going to be forgotten just like it was with Starfield and Hellblade 2. Such an anticipation and yet such a disappointment after release. So I'm not very much have any confidence with these titles. Not trying to point fingers and say because they're Xbox exclusive, but just in general, they don't really interest me like in video games. Because first person perspective as well, remember guys, I said it many times already, third person perspective games are my get go. All right guys, well that's all I wanted to have a little bit of a mention in the conversation related to the top 10 and just anticipated list of games that I'll be looking forward to at the second half of 2024. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. See you guys and have a wonderful day.